Hi everyone, our project is underwater image enhancement and restoration using different deep learning techniques. Here we are using three algorithms for enhancement technique and three algorithms for restoration of the image. First with enhancement, we are using Clahi algorithm. So as we can see, first we are taking an input image from a particular folder applying Clahi algorithm to it. We can see the result. Input image is like this and the output is like this. For this, we are getting the histogram as follow. In similar way, we are taking the Rayleigh algorithm, selecting an input image from the particular folder, applying Rayleigh. Hmm. As we can see here, input image is like this ray after applying of Rayleigh algorithm the it is changed to like this so in this in intermediate process of the conversion first the image is rgs equalized then stretched then afterwards uh, stretching is done with Rayleigh and then hs hsv also stretching is also done here then output histogram is as follow in a similar way when we take rghs same take this particular input image apply rghs in this rghs first input image is taken and applied to it in this intermediate process first we are converting the input image to rgb equalization and then we are stretching the image and it is the histogram output as follow these three techniques are used for enhancement of the image and for restoration first we are taking dark channel player here also we are taking an input image as we desire. This is the output of the DCPI enhancement. First in the intermediate processing of the pro algorithm, first a image is great. Then we are checking the dark part of the image. Then we are guiding the filters and then image is transmitted. Then it's a histogram output of the DCP model. Next. MIP maximum intensity potential in this method also here we are taking a maximum edges how the output is received In the maximum intensity prediction output, we can see the dark spaces of the here. In this, the intermediate process, first we are seeing the largest difference between the images. Next, what is how the difference is transmissioned. Next, refining the transmission and image transmission is followed. Here, it is the output of the histogram of the MIP algorithm. In a similar way, we are using ULAP algorithm. Here also we are taking an input image and applying ULAP. This is the output of the ULAP. Uh, in the intermediate process of ULAP, first we are in-depthing the mapping. How much in-depth the image is taken, what is the size of the image and length. Then we are transmi transmitting the image of the particular input and taking the output as follow next it is a histogram of the you take an input image using this all six algorithms we are enhancing and restoring a particular image